good morning, Brookhaven. What a beautiful day. I mean, seriously, it is gorgeous outside. Let's go downstairs and let's talk to my brother. Oh my gosh, I love this guy so much. How you doing, George? And he just said, hey, bro. Yo, bro. Yeah, good to hear from him, man. You know, I gotta get to work. But if you want later on, let's hit the diner. You know, me and my bro love hitting the diner late at night. It's the best. The food is so good there. And my brother said, okay, bro, have a good day at work. Thanks, dude. And guys, he's just chilling here for now. All right, yeah, let's just get the heck out of here. And my bro just said, wait, oh, wait, what's going on? He said the news. Oh, what could be going on in the news today? Hello, Brookhaven. My name is Jay Boblo, your number one host for all Brookhaven breaking news. And in a crazy new developing story, we have noticed top scientists have pointed out a meteor that is going to be orbiting the earth the meteor is actually about to be reaching its closest point so everyone go outside and take a look at this thing <laughs> my brother just said uh he's literally hype here that's actually the coolest thing i've heard i've never been able to see a meteor he said like a shooting star that's hype yeah that's so cool well i guess i'll see it on the way to work all right all right bro let me know if there's any vibes yet take a pic for me of course dude I wonder if I could see that thing from here. I think I barely see it next to the sun. I'm not too sure. Whoa. And we are almost to work. Wow, Brookhaven is pretty empty right now. I'm not too sure what's going on. All right, let's get the heck in and old guy. I've seen this guy around actually. He just said the end is near. Uh, sir, can you please step away from the star brooks i don't want you to scare anybody away man it's just a it's just a meteor in the sky and he just said sir please believe me sir the end is near this old guy just said we will all be destroyed okay pal let's calm down seriously it, it's just something that's going to be orbiting the earth it's getting close but it's not that close all right let me just clock into work oh what's up janet how you doing said hey ready to start your shift yes totally all right let's get this day going man it's so weird there's legit no customers today i have no idea what's going on right now janet this is super odd and whoa military's going around i wonder if there's a lot of people at like a viewing party of the comet or something janet said did you see that yeah i i i did that was really really interesting what the heck who the heck is this guy okay we have a customer perfect hey sir how are you he said hello one coffee please yep of course let me say coming right up oh this is my favorite job all right let me go over here let me mix it up in the machine and perfect and this guy just said y'all see the news oh oh yeah yeah no i did see the news i i did see the news yeah it was uh it was about the meteor coming near yeah it was crazy here you go sir enjoy the coffee just said actually yeah you should go watch the news again what the crap is he talking about janet that guy outside just said again the end is near what is happening right now no 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 like they said it was it's just coming close it's not gonna be a bad sign but that that army truck or that military truck was really creepy so what does that mean i'm not too sure um here let's let's clock out early all right let's just let's just kind of clock out we haven't had too many customers today let's just close up early let's close shop let's get back home janet that sounds good to me all right and and this guy again is just still standing out here such a creepy mysterious vibe he said please believe me I said to the wilderness i go Heck is he going? All right, I better get home. See my brother. All right, let's see what all the fuss is about. Yo, bro. Ah, see, watching Rags to Riches. Got it. And he said, yeah, you're back early. Yeah, uh, <laughs> weird day at work, to be honest. Someone came in and and told us to check the news again the first time we watched it it was actually completely different they telling us that now we need to tune back in my brother is saying you didn't just check from your phone all right let's change the channel let's see what the breaking news is all about all right let's tune in hello everyone my name is jay Pablo, and as you know in the last few hours we've gotten a very disturbing update that the comet is not going to be orbiting but actually has a 28 percent chance of hitting earth in one week exactly <laughs> One, one week? In this time, please do not panic. Please do not run to the stores. Everything is going to be fine. That's that's all they told me to read. Is everything gonna actually be... Cut, cut this off. Uh, let's turn that off real quick. My brother just said, we need to panic. What is going on right now, bro? The end of the world. No, 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 no. This can't be. It has a 28% chance of hitting. A 28% chance. That's not good at all that's actually really bad that's like almost an entire coin flip and my brother just said no, a military dr truck just drove by y yeah I, I i saw those earlier actually i saw those earlier there's a bunch of them he said close the blinds no no we need to hit the stores bro we need to hit the stores this is going to be bad food 
water. Oh my gosh, more and more trucks everywhere we go. He said, let's go now. All right, let's do this thing. All right, bro, let's get in there real quick. Hurry up. Okay, let's grab a cart. Let's just get some food. Okay, let's stock up. Uh, Doritos is a good one. Okay, we don't need any candy or anything. We need a lot of water right now here. Let's stock up on waters. We get a little bit of milk in there. The girl just said they're almost out of milk. Wait, where, where's the, wait, where's the cashier? My brother says, stop it, lady. You're hitting me. Wait, where's the cashier? Wait, what the heck is going on? She said, I don't have time for this. She just bolted the crap out of here. Okay, I, I say we do the same thing. He just said she stole. Yeah, she did. And I think we're up next. All right, let's just get the heck out of, whoa. Uh, uh, sir, sir, we are no, we are no problem. Please, there's plenty of food still. Please, we're early. So give me all of it. Okay, okay, take it. Take the cart, take the cart. I don't need it. Okay, oh, let's get the crap out of here. Hurry, bro. Good morning, Brookhaven. In the last 24 hours, it has been a completely different change. And of course, the world looks great. It's Everything's looking amazing. But there's one thing that I've noticed. You see that thing? It's getting bigger and closer. Let's just go downstairs. Let's talk to my brother. Let's see how he's handling all this situation. Yo, bro, is everything good? He looks really stressed right now. He's sad. He just said no channels work all dead. Oh my gosh, that's not good. No, no cable. At least we still have power. At least let me check the water supply. Yeah, we should be good on that. Yeah, we're good. We're gonna be fine. Everything is still working good. The, the government is, is, is totally in lock right now. I think I'm going to head to work. Like nothing has happened. Like no, nothing has happened. Like we are totally good. He just said, poke, please be careful. I will be, don't worry. All right, I'm gonna head to work and I'm gonna just see if everything is still as normal as it could be. All right, just gonna pretend everything is normal. Just gonna head to work and no way, Janet is actually here. Okay, my life is not that ruined, okay? The world is still going. She just said, hey, hey, Janet, good to hear from you. I just see, she's not obviously her face. She's really not taking this well. So let me just say, how are you handling all of this? You know, this is a very stressful time and you know, it's good thing that we're still working. The world is good. Look at it. everything looks nice. Nothing is too bad. I mean, the streets are a little bit emptier than usual, but it's not that big of a deal. She said, well, I think everything will be okay, but said, my parents are stressing. Yeah, my brother is not taking this well at all all like seriously not going well but we must continue to work and grind you know the grind never ends until the world stops turning so we might as well just serve these drinks all righty yeah Ugh, it's just been so long has anyone even come in here hello like what is going on she just said not a single customer i mean it, it does make sense i mean it it does make sense it, it really does you know there's a big scare going on in the world everyone wants to be with their family inside i think maybe we are just kind of you know misunderstanding how people are reacting i think it'll be just fine she just said one sec and oh she's getting a call right now okay i'll let her handle that i'll just kind of scroll through my phone real quick let's just see what the news is saying <sighs> interesting a lot of the Brookhaven Twitter community is noting that noting this. Oh, and she just got off the phone right now and she just said, My parents' place is getting robbed. I gotta go. Oh snap. People are burglarizing places already? At the end of the world comes scarcity. I better make sure my house is okay. Right, let's just get home. George, you okay, buddy? And my brother is over here on his phone right now and he just said, Why? And then he saw me. He said, poke. Yo, bro. He just said right now, I have no service. Literally none. Holy crap. It's coming up as no bars either. And he just said, I can't get anything to load. Me neither. But I got some bad news. My coworker's home was just raided by criminals. He said, raided? Yeah. We need to be careful. My brother said, what's happening to Brookhaven? I'm not sure. What the heck was that? Stay back. St st stay back. I'll, I'll, I'll answer it. Stay back. Oh, crap. I think it's that guy from earlier. Holy crap. Sir, please! He said, freeze! Sir, please, 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 don't do anything, please! Give me all your money now! Okay, just, uh, follow me. Follow me, it's fine. Here, we're just gonna get, get to the money. We're gonna be okay. Uh, it's up here. Just, just take the elevator. Okay, it's, it's, it's over here in the safe right now, even though money may not even matter that much. Okay, it's just in here, sir. It's just in here. What's my brother doing? Whoa! Oh my god, my bro just got him! Nice hit, man! Holy crap! We're taking that off his hands. Holy crap, dude. Nice work, man. He will not be coming back. What a crazy day so far. We need a barricade. Well, everybody, we're here and it is day three. This is getting very bad. I, at this point, want to look outside and see how big the meteor could be. But at this point, I think we just need to lay low for the entire rest of the week. My brother's looking outside right now. He's trying to check out all the vibes. How's it looking out there, man? We've been starting to hear some bad noises outside at night. It's starting to really become a martial law out here where everything is kind of, you know, just 
up for grabs. He said it's going down out there for real. Okay, here, get, get, get back down here. Okay, get back down. We just got to be careful. We don't want anyone to see us. Luckily, we still have power and water. I mean, this is probably the biggest blessing ever, but our food supply is running low and it's time for us to go out. But since I have the weapon here, I am going to go out alone. Okay, let me tell him right now. It's going to be okay. I'm going out alone. All right, I'm going out alone. And he just said, no, it's going to be okay, bro. I promise. And he just said, it's too risky. I can do this, okay? I promise you, I could do this. He said, you're my little bro. I can't let you go. We need food. I'll be back. I have to do this for me and my brother, man. And luckily, this door is already broken. So we just need to kind of slide through this. He just said, okay, be quick. All right, sounds good. Holy crap. That does not look good. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. All right, guys, we are going and approaching into the city. We have our weapon, but we need to be very careful. And the grocery store is completely done for. So luckily, I have been very smart, and I've been hiding some Starbrooks bakery items in a stowaway cabinet. And hopefully, this will be enough. Let me grab these things right here. Okay, absolutely perfect. We have so many things to bring back home. Let's just slowly... <sighs> There's cars everywhere. Okay, gotta lay low, gotta lay low, gotta lay low. They cannot see me. Special forces everywhere. Okay, I gotta go through the back door. Way too risky. All right, let's just get back over here. We're going home. All right. Whew, we made it. Brother? Brother? Uh, where the crap is this man? Oh my god, where is he? Bro! Okay, maybe he stopped outside to get some fresh air. Maybe he went to go see the meteor. Maybe he went to... No, 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 no. This is not good, man. This is not good at all. Where is he? I need to go look out for him. Oh god, jeez. Oh god, jeez, they're everywhere. What are they planning? What are they doing? I guess I better lay low and just wait for him to come back. All right, everybody. It is officially the fourth day. That means in three days, the world is forever ending, or at least it's a percentage chance. And as you guys can see, I legit cannot use the elevator because there is no more power in my home. So the only way to get down is to literally go down from here and go up through the air. It's the most impossible thing. All my food has gone bad. The only thing that works now is water. That is the last thing, which thank goodness, right? Like that's what I need to survive. But I miss my brother. He hasn't come back. Nothing but pure static on every single channel. And it's all getting worse. Every night I hear more and more shots. Let me just go over through here. The infamous hole to see everything through. Oh my God, as you guys just saw that, there's cars everywhere. Oh, what the crap? I haven't heard anything like that. Again, I'm just gonna have to lay low, relax, calm down. And hopefully my brother will come back soon. But if there's, oh my God, the bank. Oh, this is a nightmare. The city's getting destroyed as I know it. All right, it is the next day and I am prepared to go and get my food. I am starving right now. And in the last day, this city has been taking the most tremendous toll I've ever seen. Take a look at that thing in the sky, man. As you can see, martial law has broken out. Explosions everywhere. Cars everywhere. Holy crap, they're legit everywhere, man. Oh my God, man. What an absolute nightmare. Oh my God, they're here. No, don't hurt me. I will shoot. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Janet? What happened to you? You're you are a, a bandit now. I said, look at the world poke. It's over. I said our job is over. This is all that's left. This is all that's left. We need to make the best of it. But looting and scaring people, I mean, I I, I get it. I, I get it. You have to survive out here. I, I totally understand. What what's your plan? And I can even ask her right now. Also. Have you seen my brother around? Man, I miss that guy so much. But apparently, in the wilderness, there is word of a bunker. And she said about my brother, I haven't heard or seen him. Okay, it was worth a shot. But that bunker does sound interesting. Oh, God. They're getting closer. So we need to move. Go, hurry, let's go. All right, Janet, this is my home. I know it's not much, but at least we have each other, right? Like, I mean, at least I, at least I have someone to talk to. She said, not bad. Yeah, no, it, it yeah, it's not it's not bad at all. And I have water. Literally unlimited water still. Like that's that's like the best part. Take a look at this. Ready? Let there be water. She said, good, good. We can just kind of see what happens. I mean, hopefully you have a little bit of food that can kind of help pull us over. She just said, I'm gonna keep watch. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. Sounds sounds like a plan. Okay, yeah, she's just kind of watching out the door right now. Okay. In the meantime, I guess I'll just see if there's any new TV on at all. Come on, it's gotta be something. You're black. Nothing at all. Yeah, Janet, you don't need to keep watching. You you may you may actually like attract like people. Oh, whoa! Who the crap are who are these guys? Janet! Uh hello! Are you are you gonna Janet just said I'm sorry, Poke. Wait, 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 wait. But 
we're, we're co-workers. She said, sorry, this is the new world order. And all of them are saying this place is pretty nice. They're saying jokes on you. You, you led them here and you, you, you work with them. You, you work with the criminals. He said, don't move. I won't, but I will look at her and I'll tell her how disappointed I am in you. I, I, I can't believe you. You would do this? He said, a girl's gotta live. I can't believe this. This is a disaster. All right, everybody, it is officially day six. And as you, if you could tell from how if you can barely see how sunny it is outside, but they have been keeping watch on me the entire time. And, the, and this guy just said, ha, ha, ha. And he, said, he said, I know you have food storage. Where is it? I don't like I've been telling you. I've been telling them for so long. I don't have any more food here. They're literally going nuts over it. They said, or I'll eat you. Uh, Please, please don't. I don't have any hidden food or else I would have eaten it. Like, come on, be real. Be so real right now. Now he's pointing a gun at him and he just said, you. He said, I know you have food. Oh my gosh, they're going insane. They are legit becoming like cavemen right now. And I saw you sneaking snacks. Yes. And Janet just said, stop. Everybody, please, let's relax. And he's looking at her now and he's pointing the gun. He said, this is all your fault. The meteor is coming. He said, I need to see it. Uh, is your friend okay, Janet? Oh my God, he's shooting up this house, man. He just said, I want to see it too. He said, you know, I'm curious myself. Don't look. You don't want to see that meteor. It's going to tweak you out. But now I'm getting curious. Now I need to see what this thing is looking like. So I need to see. You know what? I need to look at it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That thing is crazy. Oh my gosh. I think he's going to fall over. He just passed out from looking at it. And Janet's running away. This guy just said, we're dead. I'm leaving. There's only one place for me to really go now. The wilderness. It's where that crazy guy was talking. And maybe my brother ended up going there. I know he loves just watching all this stuff and seeing everything. That's our last bet. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially heading to the mountain. It is 24 hours until the meteor right above us hits Brookhaven. This last week has been horrible. If you didn't see the last part, we have been gone through the last six days since and before the meteor has been able to strike. And well, we have 23 hours remaining. But the worst part is, is that my brother is missing somewhere. He was living with me. We lost power and i was supposed to find some person over here some crazy person i've met told me he's going to the mountains oh gosh there's more people as i go look at stacking supplies where are they going where are they heading this is a nightmare but funny enough there he is wait he's not at the top of the mountain yet you were going to the top of of the mountain yes i i remember you from earlier you you had the sign you called this you called all of this he knew from the beginning that the meteor was gonna strike yep I was right. But you look pretty happy. Uh, you, pr you look pretty happy about all of this. Do you want the world to end? This guy is actually crazy. And I'm mad he was right. Then of course, look at me. And this guy is absolutely sporadic. Listen, I came to find you because you may know where my brother is. He looks just like me. Have you seen this man? He said, nope. He's way too happy. Please, my brother, he looks just like me. He ran off. I don't know where he went. I lost him around day five. He said, I'm going to the top of the mountain. 24 hours until the meteor hits. Can you believe it? Sir, where are they going to hide? I need to know. Where? He's going to the top of the mountain for the best view, but where is everyone else going? Okay, enough of that. I need to go find my brother. I have a bunch of hours left, so it's time I search the entire city. George! Brother! George, where are you? I've been looking around this entire city for absolutely forever, it feels like. I don't have much time. Take a look. Oh, man, someone's over at the diner. I gotta be careful. Ha, 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 ha. Oh my gosh, he's burning down Brooke's Diner. You know, that was one of my favorite places to eat. And it's gonna be gone in literally less than 24 hours. All right, I gotta keep looking. Wait for this guy to pass. And then I'm gonna just look around more. I haven't even checked this area of the city yet. Okay, let's go. Maybe I'll check the subway, see if anything's going on in here. And nope, they are definitely closed. Oh gosh, I don't even wanna look on here. Brother? Nope, I don't think he's on there. Thank goodness. All right, let's keep checking the city. Police station's ruined. Oh my gosh, the grocery store. Who crashed here? I feel like I saw this earlier. Holy crap, this place is a nightmare. Wait, I see someone in there. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, it's so bright in here. Oh god, it hurts. Wait, it's Janet. It's my old worker. I used to work at Starbucks with her. Until all this went down and she became a bandit. She said, poke. Oh my gosh, Janet. L let let's get you out of here. Hurry. Let's get you out of this fire. She said, I think it's the end for me. No, come on, let's go. Ugh. 
here. Okay, we're good. Let's just hide in the salon. There's no fire in here. Oh my gosh, she can't even walk right now, guys. Her legs. What, what happened? Holy crap. Holy crap. She said the others. They ran me off the road. And, and, and you crashed and went into the store. Oh my gosh. And now you can't even walk. No, this is a disaster. Oh man, I feel so bad. You know, only a week ago, we were great workers, great co-workers at Starbucks. And she just said, poke. Sorry about everything. No, no, it's okay. The end of the world was not a good time. Nobody is gonna act normal. Are you kidding me? You're gonna do things you don't like. Believe me, you acted completely normal. I just wish you were okay. And you know, I'd, I want to ask her and see if she's seen my brother, but I'm gonna go with the assumption that she clearly has not. She knows all about him. We, we were good friends. Here, I, I got an idea actually, okay? You know what? Maybe not a lot of stuff is open, but we can give it a shot. All right, I mean, I definitely was expecting something like this. But hopefully I was expecting maybe at least one person. She said no one's going to be here. I'm sorry, Janet. Honestly, let's just go in the back and let's just see if anyone... I mean, I see a, a few... Wait, sweet. There's a guy. There's a doctor. Wait, doctor? We, we, we come in peace, by the way. We, we come in peace. I don't, want, I don't want you to think we are bad or anything. I have someone wounded here. They just put dot, dot, dot. Are you sure? Wait, I have to ask them. Wait, are you actually a doctor? What, what are you doing here? He said, yes, of course. He said, it's the last day. He said, I want to help people. So this guy is just here helping people on the last day of earth. That is just super nice. And oh gosh, Janet just said, everything's going dark. Here, take her. He said, quick, in here. Oh my gosh, he has a full on surgery room and it's boarded up. No one can see a thing. Oh my gosh. Janet, I feel so bad. She's in very bad shape. Oh no, oh no, oh no. She was a good friend of mine. Is a good friend of mine. I'm gonna talk positive right now. The doctor just said, I will do everything I can. Okay, thank you so much, doc. I do need to ask, have you seen anybody that looks like me? Just curious. I, I, I need to know. He said, hmm, you know, I think I did. Could he know? Someone in here asked me the same thing. Kind of looked like you too. This is the best news of my life. Do, do you know where he went? Like seriously. He said, sorry, that's all I know. And Janet just said, poke. The, the billionaires, they, they are going to an island. He said, we're losing her. He said, they built bunkers. Go. Janet, stay in there. Okay, I better get out of here. This isn't looking good. I am going to pray for her for real. I hope she makes it through. And at least I know my brother was here and is around. I've been looking around for my brother like crazy. Oh my gosh, it's looking worse and worse. I seriously don't understand where he is. And I just wonder if that's where it is. Maybe my brother already went to the island. Maybe he knows. But up ahead, I see the RV from the crazy guy. So I think maybe I can ask him a few things and try to figure out if maybe he saw him again. Maybe we're just in like playing this like race. Wow, the city from Brookhaven looks so beautiful up here. I would just hate for this to actually come true. Crazy guy, are you in here? Hello? Are you in your RV? Sir? Oh my gosh, he's not in here. I think he's up here at the absolute top. He's screaming, it's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. Sir, I need your help. This girl I knew said there were billionaires building bunkers on islands. Said, oh my gosh, those were built ages ago. Where are they? I think my brother went there somehow. He said, brings back memories. Listen, what island is it? He said, go to my RV. There should be a map. Okay, let's go check this thing out. Oh, what, what, what was that? Wait, the meteor didn't strike, did it? No time. I gotta look for this thing. Where is it? Where is it? It's not in there, bro. It's not there. Sir, it's not there. He just said, do you see those? Sir, what are you, what are you looking at? Oh my gosh. Was that a small meteor? Sir, the map was not in there. Where is it? Oh my gosh. He said, oh, right. He said, it was in my hideout. Silly me. Where is it? is it? He said it's near the airport. I'm taking your car. I'm sorry. I'm taking it, bro. I don't care. Of course. It's the app. Oh my gosh. If I was there for another few seconds. Well, that's what the crazy guy wanted, I guess. Okay, we're getting the absolute heck out of here, guys. Let's go right now. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely insane. We are in a war fest with the small ones. The big one has got to be coming ASAP then. All right. Let's do this thing. We go behind. He said it's behind the airport. So let's go check this area out. Oh, I don't even see anything over here. What is he talking about? You mean behind the motel? Oh, he said near the airport. And wait a minute. There's someone in there right now. I predicted this six years ago. 
it's coming. Wait a minute. George, it's you. Oh my gosh. He said, poke. He said, I can't believe my eyes. OMG. No, same, same, same. Literally. He said, how did you find me? I, I talked to the crazy guy. He told me to come here. He said he didn't even know you though. He said he didn't see you or maybe, maybe that, maybe, maybe he's just absolutely crazy and he didn't even know. Oh God. He said he is a crazy liar too. Well, he was definitely right about this. He said he's on the hill right now. Oh, uh. Yeah, ab about that. He took the crazy way out. Let's just uh, say that. Listen, though. So you know about the bunkers? He said, yes. He said, I've been looking for this to show you. That's what I was going to do. And he said, we need to go. I couldn't agree more. He said, all the billionaires are hiding there. And we are going to sneak on. No problem. All right. It's only a matter of time. What's the map looking like? My brother just said, hmm... Hey, I keep looking at it and he said, it's the big one for sure. Okay, yeah, Brookhaven's known for a few islands and specifically one in particular is huge. And wow, this guy said he predicted this six years ago. I mean, that's when those billionaires were building them. Oh my gosh, did they know? And he said, it's the big one, Island 37. Okay, but now we need a boat. Oh, we better figure this one out. He said, let's go find one. Exactly. Oh man, it has been so many hours of just driving around trying to figure out where to go. We have not found a single boat at all. Seriously, we searched the entire perimeter for a boat. We even tried to find someone's home. But now we're literally just going to be breaking into this giant estate right here because I don't even understand how people have not even seen this place. It doesn't even look like a scratch has been on it. Who could own this home? And the door is literally unlocked. It's like anyone could come in here right now. And my brother just ran in immediately and said, let's be quick. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe so. I think we have to be pretty quick here to see that. Whoa, that's... I think that's the island. That's the bunker. We're right on the good side of it. Except I think we have some bad news. There's no boat here, bro. There's no boat at all, man. He said, I see something else. Oh my gosh, there's a helicopter. How has nobody used that? Who lives here? What the... Wait a minute, there's someone up there. What the? Jay Boblo? Channel 11 Brookhaven News? I said, who are you? Jay, it's me, Poke. I said, Poke? Yeah, me and the news guy, we, we know each other. I've had uh, I've had a few crazy stories. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm so confused. What are you, what are you doing here? And he, and he said to me, why are you here? I'm more confused. Why is this house in tip hop shape? It's like no one's come in here. I mean, can you believe this, George? We're in front of Jay Boblo in his mansion untouched. And he just said every time someone came over, they ended up feeling bad. So they always left before doing anything. They felt bad because you were Jay Boblo? You're kidding me. That's why they felt bad? And he said, of course, it's me. Ha <laughs> ha. And you you got a milkshake there. That's uh that's pretty awesome. I'm just so happy to be in a home that doesn't look damaged. I mean, he has electricity. This guy's got his own grid, I think. So why are you not going to the billionaire island? My brother said, Mr. Boblo, I'm a huge fan. Oh my. Oh my gosh, please, it's fine. He said, oh, Poke, uh, I'm not a billionaire. But you have this nice home. You have a helicopter. You have like four floors. He said, you need all the top money to get there. The top money? I mean, and, and me and my brother are trying to break in for free. Let me just ask him. Let's just say, hypothetically, Pathetically, we snuck onto the island. How possible do you think that is? I mean, maybe he would know. He said it's a pretty low-key project. It probably won't work. That's not what we want to hear. And my brother said, please, Mr. Bobble, we need your help. Oh my gosh, I forgot about those things. Let us use your helicopter and we can all go. And he said, honestly, can I think about this? Uh, yeah, sure. How much time do you... How much time do you need? Are you like, like, are we going to go in like 30 minutes, an hour? I mean, like, if I look at my clock, you know, we have maybe like, I don't know, like 12 hours till the world ends. I said, I need time to think for a couple hours. I said, you two should rest up here. I was like, we don't have a couple hours. Well, yeah, we technically do. We do have a few hours left, but Jay just said, take a shower, eat all you need. He's like, this place is the best. You know what? Yeah, you know what, George? We should relax, take a shower, freshen up. Like, seriously, my brother said, I don't know if I can. I think our best bet is to clean up as going as fake billionaires. If we land with a helicopter and all of us are rich and we look rich, they might just let us in. My brother said, okay, that's actually a great idea. Exactly. So for the next few hours here, we're going to we're gonna get ready. We're, we're all going to shower. We're all going to get nice and fresh. I might hit a workout. Who knows? But again, Jay, thank you so much for letting us stay in your home. You believe this? That's the island we go to? We pretend to be billionaires? and we can maybe actually live. But what happens after the meteor hits? What is life after? 
Is it even like worth it? What if the meteor doesn't even hit? I wonder if that probability thing is still accurate. Oh, my brother just got out. And holy crap, you look fire. Nice job. He's all shaven. You know, he's got the suit on. He looks good, man. That's amazing to see. And he's even cracking a smile. I think, honestly, he needed that. He said, ah, oh, look, I have one of the famous J. Boblo suits on. Lol, looks fire. I feel this is the first humane conversation I've had in the last week, honestly. And honestly, I think this plan is gonna work out. He said he has a bunch of suits. Okay, all right, I'm gonna shower up now. All right, time to shower. Oh my goodness, this feels amazing hot water. Kind of really sometimes forget about these things. Wow. I am excited. Take a look. Yo, I'm Jay Boblo. Hey everyone, my name's Jay Boblo. Hey everyone, my name's Jay Boblo and welcome back to Brookhaven News. Like, oh my gosh. I <laughs> Jay is hilarious, man. And my brother said, nice, bro. Okay, so now I say we go get Jay and we dip. Like, let's get the heck out of here, bro. Jay, are you in here? Where is he? What the? Where's the man Jay? Did he take the helicopter? No, he didn't. Okay, just got scared for a second. Jay, what the crap are you doing? Jay, we're all ready to go. We literally have like 11 hours left. Dude, come on, seriously, man. He said, wake me up when the world ends. No, it's ending soon. Oh my gosh, this is not good at all. Zzz. You know, brother, honestly, when's the last time we slept? Like, seriously, like, we've, we have, let me look at these eye bags. Oh my gosh. See, we really need to maybe catch up on some sleep. I say we just nap and we wake up like three hours before. It's like a flight, you know, like wake up three hours before our, our flight. And oh my gosh, Jay's that he is dreaming. Good morning, Brookhaven. Oh my gosh. I, I hope I think Buddy's going to miss that job. He said, is that a good idea? Just better than sitting and waiting for him to get up, you know, like how about we just do that? Like here, I'll take this room. And don't worry, just you, if you want to wake me up, you can. Oh my goodness. I forget how cozy beds are. Oh, wow. This is, uh. Oh my gosh, what the? Oh my god, is the world over? Did I die? Wait a minute. Wait, what the crap is going on? The sky is legit orange. Okay, I gotta wake up the gang. I think it's close. How long have we been sleeping? Jay! George. What the? Guys, wake up. Please wake up, please. Big fan of uh, Jay Boblo, huh? Want to sleep next to celebrities, really? He said, oh, oh my god, the sky. Yeah. And Jay said he's literally sleeping still. Wake up. What time is it? The sky is orange. Look. Oh god, what the crap? Everyone get up. The plan needs to happen now. Legit now. What time is it? What time is it? Oh my gosh. Oh. It says eight in the morning. That means that it's been six days and we have two hours left. How big is this meteor looking? Okay, before we go out there. Okay, Jay, for the love of God, do you know how to fly? Please tell me you know how to fly one of these things, bro. And he just said, of course. Perfect, perfect, perfect. He said, it's me. Yes, uh, of course, Jay Babalo. How could I ever doubt you? Okay, let's go outside and let's try not to look at the meteor. There it is. He minus two hours. And Jay just said it's uh quite big now, huh? Yeah. You think? It's humongous. Okay, Jay, we're already getting in the back. I guess I'll take shotgun, but you need to fly this thing, pal. Take us to the bunker. He said, all right, here we go. We're flying. It seems that the flight from this area is going to take about a good 30 minutes to an hour. So please, hopefully we don't get hit by any small meteors. And then when the time we get there, we should have only one hour left. Let's hope. We make this count. It is officially one hour until the world is struck by a meteor about to hit Brookhaven. And us three are trying to sneak into this vault. This is going to be one of the craziest things we've ever done. And my brother in the back just said, this is the place. And I'm going to tell him right now. Yep, this is it. All right, everyone get on your happy faces. Really just let people know that we are billionaires and we are here. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. It's going to go in the water. Everyone out, dude. Everyone out. Jay, come on. I said, wow, that was my best landing. Yeah, okay. If that was your best landing, then I have not want to see your track record. Well, guys, we're officially here. We have an hour and we have made it to the underground billionaire bunker. Now we just need to get in. All right, guys, let's just all head up over here and let's just take a look. I mean, we could see obviously right now. I don't really see too much on the back side. It's kind of covered. But if we could take a look from the front over here, so far I'm seeing... Oh, oh, I see someone. I see someone. Guys, I think I just saw our first guard. Okay, I just saw a guard. 
He's blocking near the front door. And my brother just said, so what's the game plan? The game plan is going to be simple. Well, I think we just need to scope it out first. But the game plan is that we're billionaires and we... Oh, God, jeez. Everyone watch out for that water right there. Hope oh, Jay, you went in anyways. Okay. All right, everyone, come over here. Let's just maybe go up near the stairs. Let me just get a better look at this guy to see what's really going on. All right, what do we got here? Okay, we have a laser fence. We have a guard. And that is most certainly a weapon. Okay, everyone stand back. Everyone stand back. The good thing is we don't look like strays. We all have our suits on. Oh, crap. The guard literally just said, last call for tickets. Present IDs at the door. Oh, man, it's really the last call. Okay, well, Mount, we distract. Wait, what the? Jay? She said, oh, I'm here. I'm here. Jay, what are you doing? Dude, Jay Pablo is an idiot. He does not have a ticket right now. He legit is presenting his ID and everything. And he said, ticket, sir. And he just said, here's my ID. Jay doesn't even have a ticket. Oh, my God, he's checking some sort of list right now. Brother, just stay calm, relax, don't say a word. I said, Mr. Boblo, nice to see you. Welcome to the Billionaire Island. What the crap? Jay was on the list? My brother said he got in? No, literally, how? How is that possible? Jay literally told us to our face that he is not on that list. He didn't buy a ticket. He said he wasn't that rich. Don't tell me it's because he's on the news channel. And Oh God, the guy just said final call. Okay, uh, let, let's just go up to the gate and let's just stay. But if you aren't in, one minute left. Oh crap. Okay, one minute until the gates close. Let's just go up to him and let's just uh, present our names and be very confident. Get your ID ready. All right, I'm just gonna go up to him and say, hi there, hi there. Oh, he just instantly said IDs. Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Here you go, sir. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay, uh, what, what, what's going on, sir? I, 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 our, I'm just gonna say our last name is under uh, Poketh. Uh, it should be around there. He just said you two aren't on the list. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That is not, no, that's not true. I'm just gonna let him know. Do you know who we are? We are the brothers who invented Brookhaven toothbrushes. I don't think you understand who you're talking to. Oh, he said, back away now. Crap, crap, bro, brother, just come back, just come back. You are not on the list. Okay, okay, so we're not on the list, but let me just ask him right now. How much would it cost to be on the list, though? That is my question. You know, brother, I might have a little bit of spare change in my bag said 970k per person you're you're kidding me right per, per person that that's an insane amount of money almost a million uh, okay i'll be back in one second let me grab my wallet sir okay we will be back in one second okay come on brother let's just go grab my wallet and we're not getting in we're not getting in bro it's officially oh god Oh my gosh, those small meteors, they're breaking off more and more. My brother just said, what do we do? Okay, I, I say we scope the entire island, see if there's any sort of other opening. That's our literal best bet, bro. If we look around, maybe we can find something, someplace, somebody who can help us, dude. Hopefully there's no guards over here. All right, we don't have much time, George. We just have to get up here and... What the crap is going on? There's... There's literally construction yards and... Wait, is that a construction worker right there? Wait, wait, wait. Stay back, stay back, stay back. He just said, who's that? He's digging. I, I, I don't know. Maybe he's like a mechanic worker at the island or something. If we approach him and he calls the guards on us, we're done for, buddy. My brother just said, maybe he can help us. Hmm, it's actually probably worth a shot, to be honest, okay? Let me just go up to him right now and let me just... Let me just not startle him. Let me just say, sir, uh, excuse me. Do you work here? Oh, crap. He's got the shovel and he legit is so mad. He just said, back off. But the question is, is what is he doing? What is this? He said, back off, you billionaire. Oh, my gosh. Buddy is mad. He just literally, he just got so mad. And my brother said, it's okay, sir. We mean you no harm. He's freaking out. He said, you can't keep me from this island. Stop trying to get me from getting in that bunker. No, no, sir, sir. We are not billionaires. We are strugglers just like you said yeah right look at you no 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 we're serious he said i see the suits oh how how, how could we convince him seriously he said y'all dressed like jay boblo okay if i explain the full story we'll be good we found jay and he gave us these suits but now he's inside of the vault we're just two brothers man we are not billionaires we, I, I promise you on everything we can help and the guy just said i i don't know are, are you digging a tunnel underneath are you digging a tunnel underneath what is this gonna lead into the vault he said you ask a lot of questions and and i'm just gonna tell him look man we got like 55 minutes until that meteor hits and we're all human so please just listen and he said i'm listening i i i i <laughs> I I, 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 I can't even, I can't even talk. I just don't even know what to say. He said, bro, just listen to us. 
we don't have much time okay good my brother's stepping up honestly he legit is actually no he knows what to say we really don't have much time though and then he said hmm you'd be pretty stupid for a billionaire he can't even talk no exactly though i, I couldn't agree more and the guy just said fine i believe you he said we do not have time okay well, let's just ask him what's the plan what do we need to do to help you get in he just said i've been digging this tunnel for years it's almost fully connected so this guy has been on this island he's known all about this he just said i've known about this meteor well me and dumb brother over here had no clue man just went from working at starbrooks one day now to literally sneaking onto this crazy island he said is all the billionaires have been talking about for years and you got ahead of the curve nice work and so they've known this entire time literally they've all known they've all known they've been keeping it a secret and now we're gonna get the heck in there and he said i'm almost finally done watch guys as we watch this man dig that tunnel i think me and my brother and him are going to make it into this bunker we are gonna live what the crap where did he go Dude, he just went in the tunnel. Jordy, literally, he just went into there. All right, after you, buddy. So let's go inside as well. I couldn't agree more. Let's see you in. Oh my God, me next. Into the tunnel we go. Oh, holy crap. Dude, this is insane. You dug all of this? He just said quickly. Okay, let's go. Oh God, I'm already losing him, guys. I gotta be careful. All right, let's just kind of walk through this tunnel system right now. He is a genius for making something like this. I, I can't even, like, believe this is real. Oh, crap. Wait, oh, crap. I just saw a guy. Oh, no. There's a guard right there. He said, who goes there? Oh, my gosh. Uh uh we're, we're 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 nobody i mean actually no that was a bad thing to say no i should have said we're billionaires actually we're, we're nobody i'm just gonna back away a little bit he said please let us in we mean no harm exactly and the guy just said you're just like us we are regular people yeah we're all regular humans here please we don't need anything bad oh geez brother this could be the end of it this could be the end of our road right here man we made it so far for nothing we won't even be let in after how can i let you listen listen it, it, it's gonna be fine we can all get in actually no we we can all get in i swear that that's the way we do this the guy just said i've been digging a hole for years we're getting in nobody be careful oh my god oh, oh my god a gun went off oh no oh my god no are you okay buddy oh my gosh guys no this is an absolute nightmare the guy who literally got us in the tunnel he said go on without me this isn't fair bro this is not fair at all please george what do we do my brother said poke we have to go oh man for a couple of billionaires you two are pretty cool ha 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 <laughs> good 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 joke man please i don't 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 make me laugh right now oh my god it's over it's over okay let's just go over and just hopefully figure out the way. The guard came from this way, so let's just go this way, George. Okay, the guard was kind of looking around this area, so let's just maybe go this way, George. Hopefully, we can find a way out of here. Hey, we're approaching something right now. What is this? Is this leading to the another part of it? He said, is this it? I, I, I don't think this is going to lead us into the vault exactly, but this could get us pretty dang close. Here, here goes nothing. All right, brother, let's keep going through. It seems like there's some sort of like water drop off over here. We just have to get around, get into this place, and we should be good. God, we're literally swimming in such high water right now, bro. Are you okay, brother? We can do this, man. We're almost there, bro. This has got to be the route, dude. I said, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, man, what a trooper, honestly. This guy's changed so much since this whole thing started a week ago. Absolutely crazy. Okay, let's just go over here. Let's go on some concrete and... Oh, my God. It's an elevator. We found it. This is the vault. He said, let's go. This is it, brother. All right, so we go in here, and it should literally just take us right inside the vault. I, I can't believe we made it this far, bro. From two guys just in a house. We found out where to go, and we made it. But poor Janet and all of them. I pray for them. I really do. Let's go. Holy crap. George, we're, we're in. We're in the billionaire's bunker. This is crazy. Makeup sets money and gold everywhere we have people all around literally as we're going around this girl just said imagine not making it in and you know what to just fit in we just need to actually act like like normal billionaires hello nice to meet y'all hello nice to meet y'all how you guys doing and this girl said hi yeah hello uh how are you guys and this guy ever just said the timing of this is awful i was about to make big moves wait this guy actually just looked at us he said billionaire brothers oh of course yes and uh and you and and you are and he said we both own brooks diner family business and i, I want a fanboy right now honestly but let me let me just kind of keep it cool and say very amazing 
congratulations like seriously congratulations on all that let me just talk to let's let's go look at me your brother let, let's talk to these two people over here and if you look in the back you can literally it says end of the world party this is not a party this is a this is a lonely party and over here there's a sign that says final countdown with a timer that is not pushed yet and this guy said so who are you guys yeah we're billionaire brothers you know yeah you know we uh we we, we do what we gotta do and my brother said i'm surprised you haven't heard of us before yeah exactly and he just said oh but like what do you do oh we're uh we're 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 we're, we're billionaires oh god i didn't think this far through I don't want to say the toothbrush thing either. My brother said, "Oh well, you know, well uh, construction stuff." Yes, we built a bunch of homes on the east side. It was a, it was a really nice project. Yeah, it was it was absolutely great. Look at these two are just laughing and having a great time. Do they not know that the world is about to end forever? This guy said, "Weird. Uh, that's how my dad made his money." Okay, and my and my brother actually just said, "It was the West, wasn't it, Poke?" Yes, yes, ah, uh, yes. It it was the West homes. Sil silly me. It was the West side. Silly me. Luckily, I think his girl or wife just said, "Leave them alone." Alone. and you know let's uh let's go downstairs george Let, let's check out the other vibe of the party oh my gosh we got two people over here let me just introduce ourselves as well hello nice to meet y'all and this guy looks awfully familiar actually is that who i think it is no no i couldn't be he wouldn't be here let me let me actually just ask him i'm, I'm just way too curious are, are you mr beast and he just put a bunch of question marks oh ne never mind never mind never mind never mind never mind Did mr who never mind i'm sorry you just he's got the he just looks like mr never mind and oh crap there's jay Pablo. hey jay oh my god jay it's me and my brother you know we're billionaires he said you boys made it nice dude i'm so glad that we're all in here so uh 15 minutes huh this is really happening jay said yeah man it it is what it is gotta make the best of it at this point wow yeah it's really happening right and i couldn't help but notice this guy over here just said this is the most genius plan brookhaven has ever thought of wait whoa, whoa, wait what thought of wait that, that doesn't make any sense and that mr beast look alike just said the cleanse will be amazing that's definitely not mr beast he, that you that guy would never say that i i actually should never have assumed don't ever assume someone is someone else jeez he said you hear that bro what's going on over there yeah let's uh let's 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 go to the let's go to the bathroom. What do you what do you think about that? Let's go to the bathroom and just talk about what we just heard. That, that why are they saying it like it, it's almost like they planned that out? All right, Jay, we'll, we'll be back, buddy. And, and Jay said, "Oh, I can't come." Ah, uh, oh, crap. What did they mean by that? And, oh, privacy, please. Sorry, I haven't had a good bathroom in a minute. Like, what did the heck did they mean by that? Seriously, the plan to cleanse the world? Oh, looking away. Sorry, George. Yeah, I, I just don't understand this. This doesn't make any sense. I, I, I really just don't know what they're talking about. That, that is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. They have a TV here. They have an entire countdown. This all seems so odd. And Jay just said, sorry, what, what were you talking about? If nothing. This is why I didn't told, told him not to come up here. It couldn't be that they're involved in this meteor. I mean, maybe they want it to hit. They said we should fly something at it and hit it. I mean, like, that that's not the worst idea in the world, but who the heck is going to fly? <laughs> Never mind, Jay. This is a reason you shouldn't have come up here. What the crap was that? And they said, cheers to a new Brookhaven. Cheers to a new life. Wow. Can you believe it, bro? He just said, I guess it's the end, Poke. I, I guess it is. We have five minutes. And I don't know about you, but feeling down here, I don't feel anything up there. And I bet it is not going good up there. I could only imagine how bad it is. We have to cherish every memory we had, you know? He said, I wish I started doing those kayak lessons before the end. And I wish I started to play the ukulele more. Oh, so many regrets, man. But at least we're still good brothers. That's all that matters, though, right? What the crap was that? Who the... What the... Oh, my God. It's the guard from earlier. Oh, crap. He totally recognizes us. Uh, hello. Uh, we misplaced our tickets. We actually, uh, went through the other, uh, way. He said, intruders. No, 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 please. He said, intruder alert. Oh, crap. Jay just said, what, where? Dang, good acting, Jay. Oh, God, the billionaires are, are cornering us. They're so mad right now. Look, uh, we're, we're meant to be here. Yes, exactly like what me and my brother just said. We are meant to be here, please. This is a serious misunderstanding. They aren't on the list. Oh, my God. He's wording it in right now. They were, they snuck in here. We, we didn't sneak in. I swear. If I say we sneak in, we're done. He just said, there's a breach. Oh, this is not how I wanted to have my end of the world experience, man. At least I could have died with the coca-cola and she just said you will not ruin this for us we're not ruining anything what is there to ruin the world's toast she said do you know how hard we worked like as in to make 
the meteor hit us? And they said, you are not one of us. You, you all did this? Just have a couple of lowly imposters coming at the last minute. And Jay just said, that's why I didn't want to come. Nah, for real, now it makes sense. And yeah, for real, my brother said, you knew Jay? Yeah, what? How did you know? And you didn't tell us. Man, that could have saved us a lot of time to not come here. The meteor must hit. Nothing can stop it. She said, guard, take them away. No, no, please, please don't. You're gonna die watching the meteor hit go. All right. Well, I guess this is bye forever. Bye, Jay. Bye, billionaires. Here we are. It's time to go outside and... Oh my gosh. It's over with, man. It's that close. Oh my gosh, this is actually happening. And the guard just ran back and he said, I'm out of here. Well, this is it, George. And I don't even think going down there even matters anymore. And my brother just said, wait a minute, I have a plan. At this point, let's do anything. Seriously, he said, be right back. George, where are you going? Wait, where is he going? What kind of plan is this? Here we go. 30 seconds left starting now. Is he going near where I think he's going? He's going near the helicopter. George, back away from that thing. Don't take it anywhere. No, what are you doing? George, where are you taking this thing? No, don't tell me, bro. Don't fly up anymore. He's flying up into... Oh my God, the meteor. Oh my God. They didn't want me to hit the meteor. Too bad. George, this may or may not work. Seriously, we're getting really dang high right now. You just said, Poke, I'm sorry to do this, bro. Rejection! No! Oh, oh my God. Oh, thank goodness I'm in water. Oh my God, he's literally going for it. Oh my God! Oh, I'm... Am I dead? What? what the, did the, am I dead? Did the meteor hit? Wait, the sky, it's, it's... It's amazing out and... What the crap happened? Did my brother just save us? George, you son of a bird, why would you do that? The city is saved. No! 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 Oh, thank God I can make more news. Well, there's a lot of repairing to do here, but something tells me that we're gonna be just fine. Thanks again, brother. You saved us all.